We are here at in Tyrone, Pennsylvania, downtown. If you are in Tyrone or from Tyrone or have fished in Tyrone, you are familiar with this spot. For all those living that don't live around here and watch the channel, this is the Little Juniata River. Okay, this is the Bald Eagle Creek. They stock this with trout. Okay, and there's other creeks that come in here as well that get stocked. You can fish this all year long. You cannot here. And actually, you're not supposed to fish this right now. Regular season's over for trout. That's what they stock, so that is a registered stock trout stream, so you're not allowed to fish it. But the Little Junior is not stocked. It just has stock stream runs into it, so therefore, it is fishable. There's small mouth in here. There's some large mouth, not very big ones. There's some decent, you can get a nice small mouth, you're good. And there's trout. That's the th three main fish. I mean, you get bluegill and stuff. Strange bait. I was way down there, come up around the corner, seen a little trout, he missed it, come up a little farther, couldn't believe it and get a trout, but then as I was sitting here, I seen a little one, now as I'm sitting here, I see a whole bunch of fish up in here. So, I just gotta find out what they want. And, trout magnets one we're trying now. I tried crankbait like a minnow, and they didn't want to get that. So now I gotta work on getting this trout magnet out there without spooking them, because they're the whole way out on the other end there. So we're just gonna have to work at it. So a small one right there, but I want the bigger one. But there's two big ones out that way. So that's what we're working for, we're working out there. We might have to bobber it, but I don't know if that will work very well for the big ones. Usually they can see it right there, just threw behind one. He didn't even turn around for it. He just kept swimming. Ah, oh, there's a big one out there. Big one. He's way out there, though. Oh, I just threw him, I threw him to the den. But I don't see any takers. Oh, there's a little one looking at it. Oh, some of them are moving. They were moving. Alright, we're getting, getting some love here. There we go. Look at him jump. Look at that shit. You see that? <laughs> he at the brook. I think that's a brook or brown. That's a brown. Uh, he ain't one of the big ones, but oh, he puts on the show. Look at that. I do not have a net, so we're going to have to hand him. So get our hands wet. Hopefully he don't come off. Hopefully he settles down a little bit. <laughs> Man, he put on a show, didn't he? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. There you guys go. Nice little brown. Huh? Let's get a nice release. Ready? We'll take right off. Look, there he goes. He's going, like, going upstream. What an idiot. That's what they do. Man, he jumped right out of the water, didn't he? That was good stuff. I hope you all got to see that. A little trick I did. Have you guys noticed this looks like a little smaller? I bit the head off of the oh, the first two ribs or whatever of chop make make it smaller so it works a little better. It doesn't have to keep check checking it, see? Something smaller and it still works. So let's do that again. Hope we repeat that process. That's one down in the books. Get a worm out. A little fake imitation worm. I'm going to put it like a wacky rig, look, you guys will see here in a minute, bam, just like that. And then I think I'm going to put it, I'll try it like that for a little bit. Definitely think we're going to put it on a bobber. That's why I like these trout magnet hooks. Look at that. I just universally just switched it. It's not even intended for this, but that's what it's getting used for. Sometimes you gotta watch though, because you gotta be ready for the bite in these. They'll swallow if you don't be ready for it. Oh, 
Oh. There he is. There he is. I seen him. That's a bass. That's a bass. <laughs> Come here, Smalley. That's a smallmouth. Uh, or is it? Is that a trout? That's a smallmouth. I say it would definitely look a little too fat and change. Come here, baby. Look at that. That's what you want to see every day. A little bend in the rod. He ain't big nothing for a smallmouth, but he ain't bad for a creek mouth, smallmouth. Come here, bud. Come here, buddy. Show everybody your beautifulness. Don't be getting off. Come here. You ain't no chunky monkey, but you is you nothing to be sad about. Catching for the day. Come here. Look at that. I see him pick it up and take it. I didn't feel it, but I saw it. He oh he's been hooked before. Look at that, he got a little blood in his mouth from before. Come here, bud. There you guys go, a little, a little chunky. Huh? <laughs> there you go. Why are you going by my legs? As soon as I release them, they all want to go like that. Maybe my big fat legs look like cover. Alright. Alright, we put on the rooster tail. Let's see what happens. We got nothing to lose. Except for maybe the rooster tail. There we go. That's a decent one. Is that a small mouth again? <laughs> it is too. Alright, we got a small mouth. Boys, this one fight. Oh, it's a fighter. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, at least the rooster tail produced. Seems like every time I switch bait, I catch one. Oh, there he got off a little bit. That's alright. You guys got to see him. There we go. Another smallmouth, baby. Yeah. Woohoo! Smallmouth fishing. Hey, Grant. So I wanted you, buddy. Look at it, later in the year, and look, still catch smallmouth in the cold water, bud. I'm telling you. Ugh, creek fishing. I love it. Over lake fishing any day of the week. Come here, bud. You're a little smaller than the last one, but. Uh, still fun to catch. Come here, bud. Huh? Uh, a little fun, huh? Some people are sitting at home. Some people are working. Some people like me are fishing. <laughs> uh, I complain about having a busy work schedule, but man, it makes it so much more relaxing when you can finally get out and fish and catch fish. I tell you. Oh, does it ever.